A closet is where you can dance naked. Reverend Dr. Holly Namo Hyun, United Methodist Church. Translator, Mrs. Irene Park. Reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. I deeply thank to Mrs. Irene Park and the Reverend Youngmin Park for translating the heavenly news from Korean to English. 감사합니다. 한동숙 사모님. I have been continuously questioning about closet prayer, and the Lord revealed it to me once again in the middle of the night. Since I had requested Jesus to kindly consider my case, God, who is good, revealed it through a dream. I woke up at 1 a.m. and fell asleep. And when I woke up again, it was 4 a.m. He let me sleep through 2 a.m. and gave me the revelation through a dream. I praise God's method. Who would have thought of it? How wonderful it is to get a revelation without having to get up, nor without becoming a nuisance to others. I cannot help but praise God's consideration. Definitely, our Lord surpasses our wisdom. This is the story of my dream. A deaconess was performing a masterpiece in front of many people, and one child came forward and began to dance. But it was quite offensive because he was totally naked without a thread on his body. He was dancing to the music totally naked. I was thinking to myself, at least he should be wearing his trousers. But he seemed to be not concerned at all and he expressed the whole masterpiece through ballet. And amazingly enough, people began to be fascinated more and more by his beautiful dance. At first, Nakedness seemed unsightly, but later, it even looked holy. Everybody watched attentively, even male audiences. The Lord asked, Do you think you can dance all naked at a public place? Nobody could do that. But a closet is a place where you can dance before me all naked. Your prayer in such a place can be innocent and honest. I thought about a dream which I had long time ago. It was during the period when I was recuperating at home after hospitalization to treat vertigo. I was resting at home for six months and could not do anything. When I had vertigo, dizziness almost killed me. People's faces look distorted just like the paintings of Picasso. Since they all looked torn apart, it was unbearable. I could not drive, and I had lost so much weight that I just had to rest at home without being able to attend any church services. And the Lord gave me this dream. I was in a filthy straw bag, all naked and crying. At that moment, the Lord asked me, can you see me? No, I can't, I answered. Jesus spoke, this ragged straw bag which you are covered with is the very clothes which your church members have put on you. A clothes of pastor's wife ought to be this way. A minister ought to be that way. He meant that I accepted their criticisms and allow that ragged clothes on myself. You are so right. Even though I am a person who is talkative like a skylark, very cheerful and laugh a lot, I am unhappy ever since I have become a pastor's wife. I withered at church members' perfunctory hospitalities, and I ended up wearing this rag as I tried to fit into their stories and criticisms. Then the Lord said, since you are looking at them, you cannot see me, and touch my eyes and cleanse them. And he asked, can you see now? I answered like the blind Bartimaeus, 
Yes, now I can see. The Lord continued, Since you were looking at your church members and tried to obtain their favor, you could no longer focus on me nor see me. And he took that ragged clothes off of me and put on a new clothes. Vertigo was not the main reason for my hospitalization. I was walking on eggshells because of the church members. I could not see the Lord, and instead, the church members looked magnified in my eyes. I was so afraid of them, and I got hit or run over by whatever they said. Since then, even though I was restored to a certain extent, I still ministered as if I were on sentry duty or as if I were sitting on needles. No matter how I tried not to be that way, still, the church members behaved like they were the owners. They must have thought that they hired a minister. In that regard, this dream seemed to depict those who can dance freely before the Lord after taking off their ragged clothes. In the same dream, I was training a little boy for crossing hurdles. It was to cross over the big line at the height of one's face and go into a house. It would be better to call that line a fence. I kept training this boy to jump higher in order to cross that hurdle. He was not able to do it and we tried again and again. It looked like the fence was too high for the boy. At one point, a teacher from the school came and pressed a button and the fence was lowered. He said, you can just lower the fence this way. Why keep trying what is not possible? And he disappeared into the building leisurely. Both of us felt rather awkward and looked at each other and the Lord began to explain about it. In life, there are high mountains as well as deep valleys. You try to overcome these obstacles with your efforts and hard work. But if you pray in a closet, I will lower the high mountains and raise the valleys to make the land flat and will give you my hand when you are in a swamp. A closet prayer entrusts what you cannot solve into my hands. All other religions require your own efforts for deliverance, but I am God who does what is not possible for you. My wisdom is different from that of yours, and my ability is also different from yours. So, if you come into your closet and meet me, your life will become much easier. A closet is where you surrender everything which exceeds your own abilities. So when you pray in a closet, you can take off the clothes of your righteousness, the ragged self-righteousness before my presence without having to worry about other people's eyes. The reason for not being able to enter my presence at church prayers meetings is that you are too conscious of others. A closet is where you meet me one-on-one -on -one without having to be conscious of others. I do not spread any gossip and I keep your confidentiality. Where else could you find such a safe counselor? Come and take off all your clothes such as your achievements, your wisdom, your reputation, your hypocrisy, your mask, your double faces. Become free and dance before my presence. The angels and I will be your audience. And do not try to solve your heavy burdens all by yourself. Instead of trying your best, first discipline yourself to surrender your cares before me. There is nothing you can do with your own strength. Without my grace, you can do nothing. That does not mean to toss everything to me, even the things within your abilities. What I mean is, 
that you do what you can, but for those things which exceed your limitations, I can help you easily. Instead of trying to jump over the fence, wouldn't it be easier if I just lowered the fence? Closet prayer is where you can leave your heavy burdens before me. Then I will summarize. What are the benefits of closet prayer? One can stand before the Lord naked without being conscious of others. One can pray more honestly. One can meet the Lord more truthfully. One can ask the Lord to lower the fence which is too high to jump over. Am I correct? There is one more thing, the most important one. You can hear my voice there. It is like being able to hear the birds sing in a quiet mountain rather than on busy streets in a city. I can hear your voice even in busy places. Your voice is not interfered and you speak to me through my heart. It is because you already finished the training to recognize and listen to my voice. It is like when your child calls out mommy in a crowded place, you recognize his voice. A closet is a separate and quiet room. Since it is a place of internalization, you can see it yourself. You may remember the things which you might have forgotten. You can restore the things which you have overlooked in the middle of busy life. The important aspect is that you can separate yourself from the world and quietly examine yourself. This is the place in which the anointing lets you remember the forgotten things and teaches you. This is the reason a closet prayer is where you can separate yourself from the world and encounter me. It is the place of prayer where we can meet face to face and own each other. Let's see. Now, I have said that much. Was it enough explanations concerning the benefits of closet prayer? Thank you, Lord. I understood the core content. Then why do we pray corporately as well? Please tell me about that too. Oh, why do you have so many questions? You never stop to you. That will also be revealed to you one day, suddenly. Amen, thank you. I praise your wisdom for giving me the revelation while I sleep. You can order these three books from Amazon Kindle. 365 Prayers of Blessing for Your Children. Theory and Praxis of Land Work, The Lord's Visitation for 14 Days, My Beloved Bride, Heal as I Reveal. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namo Yun Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of Doctor of Ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. She is an executive director of Menowa Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for ministers. Now, she lives in California with her husband, Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sung Bong Yun, former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. In Hebrew, Menua is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term Menua as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for Yunnamok TV, News from Heaven. Thank you for watching this video.